today I am going to show you how to get more FPS in the Gmods world of Doom where people will destroy you for no absolute reason. Anyways, uh, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to right click Gary's Mod in your Steam library, go to properties and set launch options. Now I'll put this in the description, you're going to put this in here. Now, for the threads part, you're going to want to go, if you have Windows 10 or 8, I think it works with 8, but you're going to right click the start menu button and you're going to click system. Now, if it says how many cores it has in the name, then you're going to put that amount in next to threads with a space. But if it doesn't, you're going to have to search your processor, find out, and then put it in there. And then you click OK, and you're just going to close that. Now, the new update for Gary's Mod, they added multi-core rendering. Um, what this does is it allows uh, Gmod to take multiple cores to render crap or whatever it needs to. Etc. Etc. Now, to actually make this work, you're gonna have to in, in, uh, put these three lines of code or whatever into your auto exec file in the Gmods. Now, um, for people with the second hard drive, you you should know where it is stored. If you don't, and you only have one drive, it should just be in C, Program Files, x86, while it's pending. And then Steam, Steam Maps, Common, Gary's Mod, and Gary's Mod, and Config, and it should be right there. And you're going to open that, and you're going to put it in here. Um, now I have my Mat Q mode set to 2 because I have 4 cores, and 2 is for 4 cores. Um, if you uh, don't know how many cores you have, just set that to negative one. It'll auto figure it out. And then uh, in Gary's mod, I will show you settings that will work for most people. If you have a pretty crappy computer, eh? Yeah. Uh, but I'll see you in Gmod. Okay, we're in here in Gmod with this ugly face of a Left 4 Dead person. I'm going to want to go to Options, Video, and then for the resolution, if you have a decent graphics card or internal chipset or whatever, you could run it at native. If you still have trouble with FPS keeping over like 30 FPS, I would put it down like one but if you have a decent graphics card or chipset you should be fine with your native resolution um, now for the display mode for display mode running in a window takes off around 2 FPS at the most so I, I still recommend full screen unless you really really need to run in windowed mode Brightness, that's that's all on you, it doesn't affect performance at all. In the advanced tab for model detail, I don't understand why, but on pretty much all the computers I had that I ran Gmod, I would get like a pretty low FPS with model detail on low. I have no idea why. Uh, so I always left this on high. Now the rest you're gonna always like put on low vertical sync if if you're running a competitive game where you root like where if you're getting over 60 I would leave it disabled unless you're getting screen tearing um, most of you probably don't know what that is but yeah I'd leave it disabled for now so most of these would be on like very low except for model detail and uh, that would always work for me. Multi-core rendering, I'd leave that enabled even though the setting 
doesn't do anything because you need those three lines of code that you put in the auto exec. Even if you disable this, it wouldn't do anything. Because he apparently didn't want that. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, you're gonna apply that. Click OK. For your add ons, you probably won't. Well, some of you guys probably have a pretty decent amount of add ons. Probably some that you don't have, you don't use. Um, so I would recommend you go through your add ons and delete the ones you don't use. Like random things like this. I'm gonna uninstall that because I. It doesn't even work. It really doesn't. <coughs> Yeah. Um, now you're gonna uh, next thing you're gonna do is gonna open console, but if uh, it'll be the tilde key under the escape next to left to the one, you're gonna click that, and if it doesn't open, you're gonna go to uh, you're gonna go to options, advanced, and enable developer console. Click OK, apply, and then it should open. I have my hotkey switched, so. I just click F10. Now, there's probably going to be red text saying like uh, found unused GMAs or add ons. Um, if you see that red text, you're going to type menu underscore clean up GMAs. And when you click enter, it's going to fetch your subscribed add on. It's going to look through all your add ons. And it's going to say received and then your add ons amount. And it's gonna say deleting unused .gma files and then finished. And then once you're done with that, you can close this. And then that's pretty much it. Um, hope this works for you. And yeah, see you in another video, probably in another month or so. Yeah, goodbye.